Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Turing machine. A Turing machine consists of a finite control, a tape hat which is also called read-write hat, and a linear tape. This linear tape has left end, but it is infinite at the right end. It is divided into squares and each square can hold one symbol. If a square doesn't have any symbol on it, then it is said to have a blank symbol, which is represented by this symbol, which is represented by hash. This hash represents the blank symbol. Turing machine reads a symbol from tape through tape hat. And on the basis of a symbol which it has read and its current state, it changes its state, rewrite the symbol, and move its head either left or right. A Turing machine M can be described by a seven tuple Q, Sigma, T, Delta, Q naught and this hash and F. This hash symbol represents the blank symbol. Right. This hash represents the blank symbol. Here Q is the set of all states of Turing machine M. T is the set of tape symbols. Blank symbol belongs to set T. It means blank symbol is a tape symbol. Sigma is the set of all input symbols. Sigma is a subset of T. <laughs> but blank symbol does not belong to Sigma. Delta Delta is the transition function. It takes present state of Turing machine and the tape symbol as input and gives next state of Turing machine and tape symbol which the Turing machine rewrites and the direction of movement of tape hat as output. Direction of movement of tape hat is represented by symbols L and R. L represents the left direction, R represents the right direction. It would be more clear after this example. Suppose the output of transition function for state Q1 and tape symbol A is Q2 B L. Then what does it mean? It means if the Turing machine is in a state Q1 and it reads tape symbol A, then it will jump to state Q2 and it will replace this tape symbol A by tape symbol B and it will move its hat one position left. Here the symbol L represents that the tape hat will move one position left. Now, now see if the output of transition function for state Q1 and tape symbol A is Q2BR. Then what does it mean? 
It means if the Turing machine is in state Q1 and it reads the tape symbol A, then it will jump to the state Q2 and it will replace this tape symbol A by tape symbol B and it will move its hat one position right because this uh, R represents that hat will move in right direction right Q0 is the initial state of Turing machine and F is the set of final states of Turing machine. Thank you very much.